Hello, welcome to another video for Practice the Kingdom. I'm starting this daily vlog, story vlog, just whatever cool stories happen, I want to share those. Now, why do I want to share these with everybody? I want to remember all the cool things that the Lord has done. I want to be able to share how amazing He is, and I hope that other people will share what He's doing in their lives and how uh, God is moving, and that this will be a memorial to people that come uh, after me, uh, before me, around me, with me, just just whoever the Lord brings along, I want to be able to record this stuff. And this is why. Somebody told me a while back when I started to learn that the Lord still speaks to us today. Not scripture, but he still speaks to us. They said, Brian, you need to record everything that the Lord is going to do. So I started keeping a spreadsheet. I literally have a spreadsheet of all the amazing stuff that the Lord is doing. And, and I record all this stuff. Now, now here's, here's the reason why. We're going to go to Joshua chapter 4. This is when Joshua was crossing the Jordan. And when he was crossing the Jordan, the Lord told him to place memorial stones inside of the river and on the other side of the river. Now, the question is, how did they place these stones in the middle of the river? Did they ride a boat across and drop them into the middle of the river? No. They actually walked across the bottom of the river. So let's read it. Here it is. Joshua chapter 4, verse 1. It says, Now when all the nation had finished crossing the Jordan, the Lord spoke to Joshua, saying, Take for yourselves twelve men from the people, one man from each tribe, and command them, saying, Take up for yourselves twelve stones from here out of the middle of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's, priest's feet are standing firm, and carry them over with you, and lay them down in the lodging place where you will lodge tonight. Carry them over with you. Carrying these stones. Okay, cool. So Joshua called the twelve men whom he had appointed from the sons of Israel, one man from each tribe. And Joshua said to them, Cross again to the ark of the Lord your God into the middle of the Jordan. And each of you take up a stone on his shoulder, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Israel. Let this be a sign among you, so that when your children ask later, saying, What do these stones mean to you? Then you shall say to them, Because the waters of the Jordan were cut off before the ark of the covenant of the Lord, when it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. So these stones shall become a memorial to the sons of Israel forever. Thus the sons of Israel did as Joshua commanded, and took up the twelve stones from the middle of the Jordan, just as the Lord spoke to Joshua, according to the number of tribes of the sons of Israel, and they carried them over with them to the lodging place and put them down there. Then Joshua set up twelve stones in the middle of the Jordan, at the place where the feet of the priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant were standing, and they are there to this day. Now, for the priests who carried the ark were standing in the middle of the Jordan until everything was completed that the Lord had commanded Joshua to speak to the people according to all that Moses had commanded. And the people hurried and crossed. It's probably important to hurry and cross the, the Jordan while the waters are being receded. That is amazing. And when all the people had finished crossing, the ark of the Lord and the priests crossed before the people. It continues to talk a little bit more, and I want to skip down just a little bit here, all the way down to uh, verse 21. And it says this, actually verse 20, it says, Those twelve stones which they had taken from the Jordan, Joshua set up at Gilgal. He said to the sons of Israel, When your children ask of their fathers in time to come, saying, What are these stones? Then you shall inform your children, saying, Israel crossed this Jordan on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the waters of the Jordan before you until you had crossed, just as the Lord your God had done to the Red Sea, which he had dried up before us until we had crossed, that all the peoples of the earth may know that the hand of the Lord is mighty, so that you may fear the Lord your God forever. That's, that's why. This is why they set up those stones, is because they were declaring that the hand of the Lord is mighty, and that we may fear the name of the Lord our God forever. And so that all the peoples of the earth may know. So this is why I want to record these things. I want to record these. I'm setting up stones in the middle of the river. There's going to be times where we're in the middle of the river. I'm still praying for people or things are still happening. I don't have answers and I don't know why. But we're here in the middle. 
Then there's going to be times when we're on the other side of the of the Jordan, and, and I'm going to be able to say, hey, look at what the Lord has done. Look at this. Here he is. We've made it across. And we can look at the stones on the, on the center, and we can look them on the outside, and we can go, look at what God has done. We can proclaim his name across the whole earth, and his name is mighty. His name is mighty to save. His hand is mighty to save. And he is the Lord our God. So I'm excited to be able to share all these stories with you. I wanted to give a little context from Joshua chapter 4, and here we go. I'm going to start creating some cool stories. Actually, the Lord's creating the stories. I'm just going to share what he did. So yeah, here we go. Be blessed.